Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a lot of interesting techniques. First, we're going to create this little system which copies the trees randomly but is aware of its hierarchy, so we don't get parts that are floating in the air. Later, we're going to finish off with randomizing the color of the trees and creating a train so that we get a proper little stylized wood. Also, I strongly recommend you to watch my previous tutorial called Copy Random Objects to Points because we are going to use some of the techniques from this one. I'm very excited to show you this, it's gonna be a lot of fun, so let's get started! Okay, so I started off with creating this little tree and it's basically just a tube with some color and the top one is also just a tube, copied and I made some edits on it, fused the top and also added, added a color. So, very simple. Um, and now I'm gonna separate it to three parts. First one will be the bottom, then I'll have the middle part and after that I'll have the top top part. So this is my this will be my top part. So these are all my parts. And now I'm just gonna create some grid. Uh, create a for loop for each point loop. We'll plug in some uh, copy node and create a switch so we can randomly copy some of these objects. Just plug all in. Now here we'll now we'll just now we're ju just getting the first input. So we have to plug in uh, the expression from our previous tutorial to the switch node. Of course, create metadata. So let me just copy the expression from the pre previous tutorial. Nothing too fancy, it just selects random uh, switch input and copies, copies it to the point. And we'll get something like this. And now this is exactly what we don't want to floating parts in the air. So how do we create it? Well first of all we can improve it by just merging the bottom with the some of the top part, either the middle one or or the top one. And we can also make it so that we don't copy anything to our point, but you know in this case what's the point of that? So let's just color code the parts so we see more clearly what's happening. Alright, and, and the solution is actually fairly easy. Well, either you want the middle, just the middle part to be copied, or you want the middle part plus the top one. So you'll just merge the middle part with the top one, and if in, in the case we select this option, no, it copies the middle and also the top. So now we got our system working. And we can also add another option, which will be that it won't copy nor the middle part or the top part, or the middle and top part. So we can just plug in uh, a null node in there and well, this will do it for us, like this. Alright, so now it's happening, like from, from the first input we, we, we just get the bottom and this bottom gets merged either with with the middle part or it gets merged with the middle part and the top part or we or it get, gets merged with nothing and we get this result So this is the simple little hierarchy dependency for the switch. And now we can randomize the scale of our trees. We can do it with uh, some attribute randomize, but first let's just scatter the points 
on the grid so we get a more more randomized wood you can play with the total count uh, the rela relax iterations no, just I think that you find nice yeah let's say this one's good now let's just plug in the attribute randomize and we'll randomize the attribute p scale which is a standard attribute for particle scale and so this is where it's from we just need the one dimension because it's just a scale we want the all three to be the same so we can input the minimum value and the maximum value so our tree scale will be randomized here's a little trick I got from Ron Dalvi who makes awesome tutorials and has a lot of great stuff if you don't remember your attribute name you can put in a point sub alt and uh, in the great, great fields you will see the attributes which you want to use Again, in this case like this is the p scale so if you don't remember it you can just get it from here okay and this part's a little bit tricky but it's not that bad we're gonna randomize the color of our trees so first and we're gonna put some attribute randomize and we want to well now we're randomizing point colors so no that's not good because we want to randomize the whole the color of the whole tree so if, if you use primitives you're just gonna randomly call the primitives so that's also not helpful in this case we want to ha um, randomize the detail which is the whole tree and we want to multiply the value set the minimum value and to multiply a value first we need to create some and you see we don't have any at this point so we'll just have to replug the color to be first and now we can we can randomize the value just put some higher number in here and also we have to set the color to go to to add to detail not to points and now you'll see our color gets randomized so just add the color to detail and then randomize this color attribute on the detail and we'll get a random color and we will just copy the this uh, this expression which creates random attributes based on point number we're gonna paste it to the seat so we get a random color per each point and let's just add some random number and fit the scale fit the range from 0 to let's say 5000 and nothing's happening so why is that if you trace our uh, pipe back we see at the merge node something's happening and that's because we, on, on the left side we added the color attribute to points and on the right side we added it to to the detail so we have to switch that and now it works but we get one color for the whole object and we don't want that so let's switch it back to point and actually now we're gonna promote the attribute from uh, detail to to points so original class class is detail I'm going to convert it to a point now we'll see if it works we just have to set our range properly so here let's set, set something more reasonable and we also want to use like the same number for all the channels for RGB so let's just Take this option use first dimension parameters for all. So we see 
see this is why it gets uh, weird, weird colors and now it's better all right and the color of our wood is randomizing so you can play with the range and you can add some more trees yeah that's a bit too much is perfect for this example and here's our nice little wood we can also um, add the random color to the tree trunks so we get a little, little more variation Plug the color node. Now plug it all in. And now you can see the trunks are getting randomized. Just tone down the, the range. I need as many randomization. Or, you know, it's up to you if you like it. And that's that. So we have our little stylized wood. And now to finish off, let's add some ground to our woods. So we're, we're just gonna copy the grid that we scattered our points onto. Just paste, paste some uh, mountain node on it, play with the values until we get a ground that we like. And now we're just gonna color it. Now this, these are our points we're stamping our, we're uh, copying our trees to. So we're just gonna take the grid, colorize it, put some normals on it. We can push it down a little bit. Also it's a little lower than it should be. and and we're just going to merge it together and this is our final result all right guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you in the next one